Now, since a tuner monster is on my field, I can summon from my grave Quillbolt Hedgehog! Quillbolt Hedgehog! Quillbolt Hedgehog! Quillbolt Hedgehog! But he
So, Quobble uh, Loop. This is one of the decks that are dear and near to my heart. It was one of the first decks I've ever actually built. And it's still one of my personal favorites. It's very janky. It's extremely inconsistent. But the ceiling is so fucking high for this one that it's just... Oh my god. So, let's go through the basic premise of the deck before I dive into it more. So, what we want to do is establish a TG Hyper Librarian, get a Cobalt Hedgehog in the grave, a Plax for the zombie, and an Imperial Iron Wall face up on the field. The thing is that Imperial Iron Wall prevents both players from banishing cards. So, no allure, no malicious, nothing, nada. The thing is that Plux per Zombie can be special summoned from the grave by placing a card from hand on top of the deck. And if summoned this way, it will get banished. Quilbold Hedgehog can be summoned from the grave if you control the tuner. And after it's summoned this way, if it would be sent to the graveyard, it is, it is banished instead. So, Imperial Iron Wall trumps those and prevents those opponents from those effects from properly from, whoop, from banishing, basically. It prevents Plux for the Zombie and Cobalt Hedgehog from getting banished. Because Imperial Iron Wall trumps those effects. So why is TG Hyperlight very important in this debacle? Because if you have TG Hyper Library you special summon Plex with a Zombie, Cobalt, Hedgehog, and you Synchro. You draw a card. And that is the card that you placed on the top of your deck for Plex with a Zombie. So basically, you can just you, you now have a loop. A four-card loop, but a loop. A loop that can give you access to basically any even level synchro monster in the fucking game any single one. If it's an even level synchro monster, this loop can get you there. Okay, so now let's go through the deck card by card, just so we're clear on this. Uh, we're playing the Lightsworn Engine for milling power. We have Double Wolf, Triple Lumina, Triple Minerva, Triple Recharge, and Triple Charge for Light Brigade, which is basically self-explanatory. All it does is draw and send cards to the graveyard that you want cards in the graveyard. We have our loop cards with triple blood spreader, triple hedgehog, triple iron wall, and one foolish burial to send any card we need. We have the rocket synchron package with double rocket synchron and one quick launch. Uh, triple quick launch, pardon. That is here because this is an this is a tuner and it's a level one tuner. So, if we have something like one Blood Spitter, two Hedgehogs, or Blood Spitter, Hedgehog, and we were able to send Wolf, if we can get Rocket Synchron on the field, we can get the loot going. We have Boogie Trap in two copies, because this is a card that's very interesting. Should we mail Imperial on a wall, we can use Boogie Trap, discard two cards from our hand, and set the Imperial Iron Wall on the field. That also allows the Imperial Iron Wall to activate during the same turn. Meaning that if our mills are good enough, we can set up the loop first turn. The same reason is for Temple of the Kings to be here, just so I can activate Imperial Iron Wall as quickly as possible on the first turn if if it's possible. We're playing the Mambu Sword package with Triple Golden, Triple Cursed, and Double Broken. That's self-explanatory as well. Multi -dude. I use it mostly due to the fact that Cursed Mambu Sword uh, triggers when it's sent to the graveyard, so if it's sent to the graveyard by a discard, by a mill, it will also trigger, giving me additional consistency and surge power. 
and we're playing Spiritual Swords of Revealing Light. This is basically our stun fix card. Yeah, this is basically here to prevent us from dying. While it's on the field, you can pay a thousand life points and prevent and negate an opponent's monster's attack. Which is decent, but not that great. However, while it's in the graveyard, you can banish it and the opponent cannot attack directly for the remainder of the turn. This works with the Light Swarm package, since sending to the graveyard is the name of the game. This is basically a battle traitor in the graveyard, which is pretty neat. Uh, so now let's go through the extra deck. Some level 4, Synchros, Teach Hype Librarian, some level 6, some Crystal Wings, Chaos Ruler, Baroness, Stardust Sylph, and Quasar. You can actually put any even level Synchro monsters in there, starting from 4. You can put any combination you want. Like, seriously, any, every single one, and you can most likely get to those with this deck. This is very janky. The ceiling is fucking high. I think this is one of the highest ceiling decks in the game. It just isn't consistent enough to get the most of the time. Unfortunate. Anyway, that will be it for today, and I will see you all in the next video. Jekyll is hanging out. Peace?